Hi everyone, this is an update on the uh, tinsel coil uh, circuit, which is a self-tuning uh, uh, resonance uh, Tesla coil uh, circuit. And um, here is the original coil that uh, Tinsel Koala had uh, shipped with the, his circuit. Uh, the uh, coil is on a two and a quarter inch uh, former and is wound with uh, 33 gauge uh, wire. Uh, so there's quite a bit of resistance uh, in this wire. And uh, so what I've done is, and these were heating up, so I wound my own coil here, and that's using um, 24 gauge wire. So there'd be less resistance, but to keep the inductance uh, high enough, uh, I had to make it about uh, 12 and 3 quarter inches long and it's on a same size uh, former as that because there's the uh, primary coil that I wanted to keep using to just uh, first test for now. Anyways, this is all uh, experiential at this point here and it's an evolving uh, circuit and uh, coil uh, configurations. So this was the uh, first one original of the test one video and now I'll demonstrate this uh, new uh, coil here test two. I have the same uh, top capacitance uh, set up there and uh, however the uh, inductance is still lower even though I have the same amount of turns as that one there has uh, because the turns are spread out in a longer distance and uh, therefore the uh, resonating frequency is higher or about 1.1 uh, megahertz uh, range so uh, I have this primary or secondary uh, Tesla tower coil there and I made two other identical ones which I uh, placed would place further away with one of those night light bulbs to test it out to see how uh, it how it lights the bulb and how it affects the uh, prime mover here the uh, transmitting coil and what I found uh, I put the light on one of them and then I was hoping that I put place the second one and put the load on it as well the light and uh, it would light at the same level but unfortunately it didn't it would uh, dim about half and uh, that's uh, what I didn't want but I've uh, come up with another kind of receiving coil uh, configuration that uh, now I'm going to demonstrate to you there was also a ferret bead uh, in the uh, power line here that was getting extremely hot so that again was uh, power that was just being dissipated uh, I just uh, removed that for now. So it's the same configuration uh, set up here uh, that I had uh, on my uh, test one video. There's the uh, power meters. This is the voltage uh, times now the uh, current. And uh, I've dropped down the uh, power consumption uh, close to half as well. So um, what I'm going to do now is just disconnect the uh, turn off this bulb here. I have one uh, load connected and the second load connected as well uh, that I'll connect and you'll see that I can do both without one diminution. So here I'll just start up the circuit and we're going to look at what the uh, baseline power is required uh, for it to operate. There's the uh, top load neon bulb showing you that the circuit uh, is operating and if we look at our meters that's what the circuit needs to operate. About 1.4 amps at 22.7 volts. Uh, the voltage will always decrease as the battery uh, voltage changes with the load. So I also have an oscilloscope here hooked up and we can look at the... Um, so basically I just have a probe here, a uh, 100k ohm resistor with a uh, Cross my probe just open there away from the coil and uh, that is our uh, resin that's what our sine wave looks like nice and clean and uh, there we have it 1.14 uh, uh, megahertz is the uh, frequency now here what I have is a um, power supply hooked up to an identical bulb which I'll be using which are uh, flashlight uh, bulbs 14 volts 200 milliamps and there is the bulb uh, lit there with 14 volts. This is just as a reference, rough reference. It's not perfectly uh, accurate. Uh, but we're, we got about 3 watts basically dissipating there. So 14 volts at 0.22 uh, 
uh, milliamps, 220 milliamps, uh, that is uh, 3 watts. So now uh, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to add the load, the first load. Now if you look at the amount of uh, light that is dissipated there, and we look at the amount of light that is dissipated there, I have them pretty well at the same uh, level. Uh, trying to cut back here. Okay, and uh, if we look at our power, it's actually uh, gone down. So uh, definitely we're not uh, creating havoc or add, uh, using more power by adding that load. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll add the uh, second load. And what I have to do now is just slightly uh, retune. very fussy. So these are variable air capacitors that I have on top there and the uh, circuit is working uh, best with those. And now if we look at our uh, bulb there, that is our first bulb and as you can see it hasn't diminished. Okay, And there is our second bulb and as you can see it is as bright and ha you know as the first one and there is um, our comparison uh, bulb there with three watts uh, dip it, dissipating on it. And if we look at our power, uh, actually it's gone down even more. So there you go. Uh, this is looking great uh, by, uh, I believe I just can keep adding more and more stages. As long as I keep enough distance away from there, I don't think these are gonna reflect back to the uh, prime source here and uh, the primary source. And uh, we got actually close to three feet of distance uh, from that coil to uh, this one here. And these are uh, coils um, and uh, capacitance uh, that I used to uh, experiment with a lot and had the best results when I was doing my uh, resonance uh, experiments back about eight years ago. And uh, this is uh, working very well because of that variable air capacitor on top there. So these have to be perfectly identical each stage. So the former size, the uh, variable air capacitor has to be made by the same manufacturer. Everything has to be identical for you to keep adding more and more stages. So the idea here is to keep doing them, but I, I don't have enough of these air variable capacitors. I just have two identical ones. So I'm going to have to find out a way to make uh, this very same air capacitor with uh, probably uh, um, aluminum uh, sheets and uh, that'll be the next uh, video to see if I can conclude that. So there you go, that is uh, what the uh, circuit is utilizing at this time here and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.